Okay, Schlatt, I have a question for you. Um, yeah, what's up? How would you feel if Charlie and I revealed something really uh, embarrassing to you right now that um, okay. we've sort of had in the works for a while, but we, you know, we think this has gone on too long. Is um, it about me? Uh, yeah, no, it's 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 about you. It's a little it's a little thing that we've got going on. Um, Charlie and I have hired a hitman, um, more like a hit barber. Oh, this! Oh, this little thing. Okay. We've sent someone that's gonna oh, come yeah. to your house in about a month or so, and they're gonna they're gonna shave those mutton chops off. You're gonna lose them. <laughs> I'd like to see them try. I'd like to see them try. Here's well, what I can do, happen? Ted. No, 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 because there's something I always sleep with. <laughs> that keeps me safe at night. <laughs> monkey's nut. You're gonna hit. You're gonna monkey nut in the face nice of a nuts. barber, well, dude. This thing is. Nice this nuts. thing is thirty pounds. This thing <laughs> is thirty pounds. But you really pounds. think that'll stop the Pope? He's mm. showing us a statue of the monkey with the nuts right now. It's like a bronze statue oh, that he's got. Oh, Jesus fucking He's <laughs> literally licking his he's nuts. He's licking the nuts. <laughs> and welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. Hey, all you butt and pieces of bread. Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich, the best sandwich on the planet. I'm eating chicken. <laughs> Welcome, guys, to the, to the I don't know what number we're on, the number 15 podcast, number 20 podcast. Just kidding. Ted, it's ask the me one. why I'm eating chicken. Ted, oh, ask me why I'm eating chicken. Okay. Shly, why are you eating chicken? Mm, I'll tell you why. Because I had the most fantastic dinner tonight. With the most fantastic people of all time. Let me tell you exactly what happened. I'm a fan of Korean barbecue. You know that? Yeah. You know, you know why? The beef bulgogi. The bulgogi. The bulgogi. Exactly. The, the beef, beef bulgogi. The beef fucking bulgogi. Yeah, so I go course. down to Korean Korean barbecue bulgogi Man. place. Bulgogi. And it's going great. And it's going great, right? Sure. Yeah. I enjoy beef bulgogi. We have the hot plate. You know, you, you take the tongs. They just give you raw meat. By the way... Easiest business idea of all time. Just open up a Korean barbecue restaurant. You don't even have to cook the shit. Yeah, you don't. You just have hoard to. piles of meat in the fridge, and when people ask, you bring it out, and they cook for you. Yeah, They'll cook they it if you make them angry enough, though. And they don't I've even noticed. have to take the time to develop their menus either. All they got to do is just like, let's just put together a list, and then they can buy that list, and then they yeah. tell us what they want from the list, and then we'll just throw, <laughs> we'll just come over. Give them a fucking iron bowl with all of the meat exactly. just tossed in. Exactly. And, and a really hot anyway. rock. They probably don't even know what they're picking. You just no. give them a bunch of something. A truck comes out with all the meat and a really hot rock. You put the meat on the rock, <laughs> fucking easy. All you need is a microwave to run a Korean barbecue restaurant. You just heat up a, a, a rock and then put food on. Anyways, uh, the meat's coming out, right, guys? The bulgogi's yeah. coming out. I'm does. cooking the bulgogi. I'm taking bulgogi, put it on the plate, cook bulgogi, delicious. Most bulgogi, delicious thing bulgogi. in my life. Ah. I eat so much of this, so much of this stuff. Like, I, we, get, we get three fucking servings of this, of this shit, and I'm cooking it. And around the, second, around the second serving, I'm feeling a little bit full, but I'm, I'm brave tonight. I'm feeling brave. <laughs> Some might say my eyes are bigger than my stomach, but uh, I order another dish. Another plate of bulgogi comes out, and around halfway through, I am feeling full. I mean, feeling big. He's feeling large. I am feeling big, very big. I could James not in the eat the giant peach mm. big. I could not eat another bite of bulgogi, even if I wanted to. I bet you did. The waitress comes by. I ask for the check. Mm -hmm. She brings the check, mm -hmm. and she says. You know, there's a surcharge if you leave meat on the plate. Oh, oh, Schlatt. How, how much, much meat did you, did you have leave? Left? In, how much did you leave? It on was, that it was, it was. There was a pile of oh, meat. On that thing. No. There was a pile. Oh, there was a no. pile of meat on the plate, boys. And you know what the worst part is? What? It had been on the plate for like 20 minutes, and it was all burnt. Oh. 
Oh, and I no. say to the lady, I say to the waitress, this nice waitress who did a, by the way, terrible job of serving me the whole time. Oh my she God. forgot my sweet corn. She didn't bring hot sauce out until I was like on my second plate of bulgogi. She gave me the wrong drink when I asked for a refill. She gave me fucking Dr. Pepper. I drink Diet Coke. And so this was the last fucking straw. This was the last fucking straw. And so I exploded. I exploded at her and I said, Ma'am, you, you you really should have told me that before I got another helping of bulgogi and then left it on the fucking plate. As I'm trying to scrape it off the plate with the tongs, it's literally charred on the other side. Charred Why did you fucking leave meat. the burnt Because I was leave? done eating it. I was done eating it, Ted. Okay, That's where so the meat goes. Just they, give you these the tiny, though, right? they give you these tiny little plates that can't fit anything. And you're supposed to, you know, as it's cooking... You put, you take a little bit, you put it onto your plate. That's how, that's how the okay, place so works. You're you know? telling me that your normal way that you go about cooking is that you're cooking something, something <laughs> you're cooking, you're having a good time. And then you determine how much you want to eat of that. And then you leave the rest of the food are on the hot on, burner. On the still turned cooking. on burner. Mm. Good. This, mm. I'm done. I, I was done. <laughs> I was done. No one else was going to eat this shit. I was done eating it. Have you ever heard of the concept of uh, cooking at home? Because bro, I'm if they you, if they you, do not give you enough real estate on the plates to put the pile of meat that was left I'm under the plate. It just wouldn't work. But it had to cut the meat had to come on a plate before you moved it onto oh, the that's burner. True. And I don't yeah, mean we did to, have a big plate. I don't mean to <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about that now. That was totally a huge plate off to the left side. Regardless, <laughs> the meat stayed on the burner, and it was charred and burnt and disgusting. And I say to the lady, Miss, you really should have told me about this policy before I left it on the burner, and now it's, I'm just fucking trying like to I scrape it off. I do when I'm done with it. Fucking when I'm scrape cold. it off with a, with a wooden little chopstick that's singeing as I, as I try and pull all the meat off, and I put it onto the plate, finally, and it's a huge pile of meat. And I'm like, miss, I can't, I'm not eating this. This is burnt meat and it will not taste good. And you right. should have told me this policy before I ordered the third one. And it, like, that's just something you should say. By the way, if you don't eat the food, we charge you for, for what you leave. So I hate to break this to you, Schlatt. Um, yeah. But when we went out for Korean barbecue in LA, when you guys were out here for Chuckle Week, we did go to a place that, ha and we yeah. talked about it. Because what did we talk the, about? Because remember the strategy uh -oh. that we that we were told about for getting we rid told of about? the meat that you could have done. What? You take the meat, right? Uh huh. You don't have to get. You just start piling it into your mouth. You got a full mouth, and then uh -huh. you think you're you're sitting there with a full mouth of people gogi. You think to yourself, <laughs> "Oh, I need to go to the bathroom." So you walk oh. to the bathroom, <laughs> and you take a and you big, spit it out quote into the unquote, dump. <laughs> In that Big bathroom, dump. Mm. flush. You, you blow up that bathroom. Yeah, no. Uh, whoever we were there with, somebody. I don't know if it was Charlie or if it, or if it was Shay. Like somebody told us about it's both of us. Go, somebody going to the bathroom. I didn't realize this was happening. Well, or I would have said, or I would have said something. Uh, no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't happening to us. This was. This I'm was going a, to the bathroom. This was. A, <laughs> <laughs> this was. A, this is a separate Finish story your entirely. Food, you beast. But you should have done that. You should have just shoveled all that shit in your mouth and then gone to the bathroom and taken a well, big quote-unquote dump. Ted, it's, Ted, this still, a it's still raw on the plate, not going to stop me. <laughs> just fucking shoveled bro, it in. Bro, you don't understand. I was locked in. I was locked down. She was staring at me. What do you mean you were locked me. in? Dude, you're I kid you not. The, the restaurant was, was not too crowded tonight. Well, they got it was security not too guards in there? Guard the Tuesday, listen, it's Tuesday night. Waitress isn't doing much. She yeah. was at the fucking table. Even if I recalled that bit of information, she, was hanging she would out not let it fly if all of a sudden I just started piling all the meat into my mouth <laughs> no, you and say, walked you in. You say, ma'am, ma'am, I have to, I have to shit. And you just start. <laughs> <laughs> how much do you think, how much do you think that they pay her to care that much? Do you think that they pay her enough? I don't she know. Would, like, should let, that's you, the thing. have to say that's something. If you were like, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, oh. Dude, imagine, <laughs> do a, imagine that, yeah, imagine that exact situation. Schlatt's just like, but there's a surcharge. He goes, oh, no. And then he just starts piling it in his mouth. And then someone from across the room, one of the, one of the people who works there, he's like, he's going for the bathroom. And he's like, he's doing the bathroom <laughs> technique. It's like it's fucking tackled by like three of the workers. Dude, you make like, <laughs> spit it out. You don't make that much. You don't <laughs> own equity in the fucking business. Why do you care if some of your raw meat goes missing? Buy more. You don't even have to prepare it. I don't understand. It's so silly. And, and I said, miss... I, I, I laid out my whole 
my whole spiel, my whole reasoning as to why I was not going to eat this extra meat. You were monologuing. Fil- a filibuster. Good old and fashion. She's, and she straight up just says, no, you have to eat it. <laughs> Unless you're gonna pay pay for more meat, and right. so she and grabs you, know you by me? your stupid fucking man <laughs> bun and starts pushing you towards the plate, and you said, "No, no, I don't want it. No, 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 <laughs> and I had to, and, and and she was not taking it. She was not taking it. I mean, like she was really allegiant to this to this capitalist business. And so you're going after so, capitalism now. That's your thing. This is capitalism's fault. This is <laughs> yeah. capitalism's fault. That's what Damn. I'm saying, man. I don't want to pay for extra meat that I didn't. That, like it's not it's not my fault. You already pay, it's already buffet style. You gotta pay. Like, somewhere I, didn't, I already, already paid like thirty bucks. Like it, it's yeah, not thirty bucks okay, of meat that they pulled fair, out. To be fair, you say it's an easy business. Any buffet, right? You can't just pile your fucking plate high. Well, actually, I guess yeah, they you don't can. Let, no, they don't let you like take it all, right? But you, I've never seen it so that if you leave buffet stuff on your plate, they get mad at you. I will they say, do. I've never that's seen how that. it works here. That's how it works in Korean barbecue, apparently. I think and I just didn't remember. I didn't remember, and she didn't tell me, and she didn't let me. She didn't let me off the hook, and so and here she, I am yep. th- eat, eating burnt meat. Like here my dinner are. was so go to, delicious. You got to go to Squid Game next week just to no, pay off the bulk. Exactly. I, I, like my dinner was so good. I I love Korean barbecue. I love it so much. Uh, Ted knows how much I fucking love beef bulgogi. He really does. He, it is my favorite food. It is the only food that I have a like a like a subconscious response to really good tasting food where I'll close my eyes as I'm eating it and like shake my head like that. No, there's no way. There's no way it tastes this good. <laughs> it's the only food that makes me do that. And I was loving it before. I was. Uh, I mean, it was just such a good night. Um, and then I and then I had to eat like half a pound of charred, burnt, disgusting bulgogi because I was not going to pay extra money for leaving it on the plate. Man, I can only imagine how miserable you must have been. Oh, it completely this ruined the dinner. Of, you sort of deserve this though, in many ways though. You've got the Pope behind you, and you what? know, what are you and you know, about? no, you know. Turn to the Pope and maybe maybe say a prayer because you know that gluttony is a sin. Where was Ted? Where was God that night? I don't know. How was it gluttony? God. How was it gluttony? I didn't even eat all the meat. No, you know what they I bro- think it was. You know what I think it was, Ted? I think it was greed. <laughs> I think it, uh, there was a I little think, you bit know of what? greed. I think there was a twinge well, of Well, honestly, lust. there was greed because then he, he then he he engaged in gluttony by shoving more of that meat into his mouth, so he didn't have to use his money. And so he was doing, honestly, he had a double whammy sin right tonight, there. Tonight, tonight, Ted, greed? it seems like <laughs> it seems like the wrath is really coming out tonight. Oh my god! Well, goddamn! Let's lock this man six layers deep. That's what I think. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm thinking. You know, Listen. Schlatt, I think that you really, you really could have, this could have gone better for you in terms of the money section, though, if you mm. had known about this one restaurant in China. Have you heard of this restaurant? Well, I've seen it a couple times on Reddit or something, but there's a restaurant, at least in this case in China, that <laughs> it's really terrible. It offers discounts to people based on what size they can fit through. Of a uh, of these metal bars. If you look what? in the chat there that I've oh put, my it's God. a bunch what? of metal bars, and depending on which one you can fit within, you get a higher discount. Oh if my you're God! Skinnier. So wow! So you'll that, eat less. So for the people that go there all the time, <laughs> they pay like full price for the the. I think the idea is like the the people who are you know eating a lot and are gaining more weight are there customers that they want to be paying full price so if the mm. i don't know but business you know, by so the maybe they just hate fat kind of people a really bad just, way to get people to come back though oh isn't it? it's yeah. incredibly messed up i don't think that anything like that would necessarily fly in the united eat states here one time we'll love it eat here twice we will body shame you immediately <laughs> at the door we'll body sh- <laughs> look that's just not how you run a business what's raffling clowners and i just wanted to take a second to thank the sponsor for this episode hello fresh With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-measured ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered straight to your doorstep. You can finally skip those annoying trips to the grocery store and make cooking fun, easy, and affordable. Fall can be crazy, and time can be hard to find, but HelloFresh helps you save time on the meal prepping, the grocery shopping, and the chopping, so you can get back to doing what you love. 
After all, that hedgehog you gotta get done for your advanced balloon animals class won't nod itself. And not just that, HelloFresh is over 30% cheaper than going to the grocery store. You'll be saving time and money on not buying excess foods with their pre-portioned ingredients. When I was in actual real college, my classes in YouTube left me with not a lot of time. So Grace and I actually cooked a bunch of HelloFresh meals, and it saved us a lot of time, a bunch of money, and was generally just really fun to, to get in the kitchen with someone and have cooking made easy. One of our favorites was the pulled pork with the pineapple salsa, so if you get the chance, gobble gobble. So, my hungry hungry boys, go to HelloFresh.com slash Chuckle14 and use code Chuckle14 for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Chuckle14 and use code Chuckle14. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Eat it. Let me tell you, and I guess the moral of the story, uh, how not to run a business also is to give your, <laughs> give your clients a delicious, delicious meal, have them thoroughly enjoy the whole thing, yeah. and then at the end say, no, you have to eat all the burnt shit too. Or else we're going to make you pay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you before you started eating or before you ordered that. But now that you're here and you said you're done and the there's still meat anything? on the table, burnt? It pr Ted, it probably, I'll be honest, it probably uh, no, did. It's A lot on, of this seems been... incredibly self-inflicted. Well, yeah, I feel like this no. is really... Well, okay, Schlatt. I'm the victim <laughs> here. Schlatt Schlatt admit I'm the How victim. How did it burn, Schlatt? How did it, it burn? It sucked. It sucked. So it it completely, so I'm burned? telling you, completely that, ruined that my dinner. That doesn't really link in my head. I feel like <laughs> I'm missing a couple little pieces here. Did you think, Schlatt, that when you walked into this restaurant, they were like, welcome to our Korean barbecue restaurant. Also, if you don't eat all of the sign food, this. we will charge you. Here's the fine print. Please read and sign I'm this. Say I'm saying, like, I mean, you should make it abundantly clear that if you order another plate and you don't eat the whole thing, we're going to charge you before the f the fucking food comes. How much is bathroom? The okay. Bathroom's right that gotta, way. X-rays next to it to scan you for secret meat. I guess we got to sort of determine what the reason and level for this absolute fucking drama that you've brought onto the podcast is, Schlatt. How much was the surcharge? I don't... I didn't even... I didn't care to ask. All I know is that you I was not going to pay. You didn't read it. You Dude, didn't even read it. Was it could have been two dollars. You goddamn. It could have been two fucking dollars, and I still would have eaten there is that. Not a single I still would have. I still would have scraped you, all that fucking burnt bulgogi you. off the hot plate and eaten it myself. Dude. I still would have done it. I was not going to pay a fucking surcharge. Oh Fuck my you, God. Dude, this is like. That's like you getting mad at the bus for, for, for leaving after you got there. And he would. And then he'd come on to the but podcast But the bus was on it. time. It's a self-inflicted wound. No, no this no? is not a self-inflicted oh wound. No, yes, I'm the victim yes, in this situation. Yes, it is. And you're fucking, you're bleeding out all over our show mm -hmm. right bleeding now. Bleeding out it. over the floor. You're yes, covered you in, 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 in crispy beef bulgogi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. I, I smell a little bit of burning. <laughs> Oh, is oh, that yeah. your pants? Is that your pants? Ooh, I think they might be on fire. And you want to know what I did at the end of that dinner, guys? You want to know what I did? I you morph? I love, I love really beating the working class down <laughs> to, a, to a bloody pulp. And so huh. what I do, what I do when I get terrible service or when someone wrongs me, yeah. I don't give them no tip. I give them such a minuscule tip <laughs> that it, that it, that it's painful you move for them decimal, to type that shit in. You move a decimal point over on the percentage. Let me I, get this fucking I, straight. You one saw the cent. surcharge and you said <laughs> no. <laughs> By no fucking mean am I going to pay you extra because this is bullshit. You eat like a pound of meat you didn't want to that you Burnt left on the meat. grill. You get the check and instead of leaving no tip, you say, <laughs> you know what? I think this needs a fucking surcharge. <laughs> Are you goddamn insane, man? Are you fucking crazy? Five what cents is, wrong is that he's you? five cents. What? I'm going one to one fucking nickel. <laughs> this is you. I'm giving you a one fucking nickel tip. This and is, you're going to go back to the register every, and you're going to punch that shit in. You're going to punch in 0.05 what? 
the for your fuck? fucking stipend, you the, prick. No, this is like the snake the that eats its own tail and then just disappears into oblivion. <laughs> this is like pettiness collapsing in on itself <laughs> to just create the same situation it was before. You'll never what wrong Schlatt again. <laughs> what, man? Next time you, you see me in this restaurant, you better you better know what's coming. Every step along the way. <laughs> <laughs> So you decided that you didn't like the restaurant's company policy. So you said to yourself, I'm going to make, gonna the, make the, the working gonna make class the pay for this. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to punish this person. I'm, yeah, I'm going to punish this person by eating all this meat and then paying them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna punish them. this person who's struggling to make ends meet and has to go home and, and, and say to their, their loved one, someone gave me a nickel. <laughs> I just imagine. I just imagine how funny it it must be. <laughs> this is the stupidest thing you've ever come on the show with. This is so unbelievably imagine, circularly dumb. Imagine, oh, it's like, fucking imagine, incredible. Imagine Slide. you're like eight hours into a shift. It's a no bones day. The fucking dog didn't get up. The dog didn't didn't stand up. It's too fucking tired. It's, ter- no it's so close to death. And you're just like, well, fuck. Well, fuck. It's time to work a shift. And then you get, and then you get a five cent tip. Can you imagine? No. Just being this woman and just watching you say no. And just <laughs> Imagine that fucking walk of shame back to the register. When you see you've been tipped five fucking cents. Dude, you are. A fucking nickel. You Imagine typing that in 0.05. Meanwhile, that's, uh, that's that is definitely... cannot get himself out of the booth. Is Here's what it is. is Here's what it is. It's commentary. It's social commentary on what I like to call crapitalism. <laughs> That's definitely the kind of situation that the waiter would follow you out of the restaurant and, and like try to start some some shit with you. No, and sir, you know they'd be they'd be off be their well post deserved. and be fired. They'd be I'd I'd com- simply complain to the manager. You're the reason sir. why restaurants include gratuity in their checks. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. They should. That waiter should be like, "Fuck this five cent tip." That's I'm how gonna- it works. <laughs> That's how it works. Like literally part of the reason why year. they charge extra at the buffet because they I, hope you'll eat uh, it all and die. I saw a Reddit post once because I'm a redditor um, mm. about this. Was it was like one of those like like very infuri- infuriating posts or something oh. where a waiter had posted a uh, a check and it was this guy who you know he got like a four hundred dollar dinner and he mm. left like he left like maybe a ten dollar tip. But it was okay because he put his number on the on the check after. Oh, you like, get my number too. Like, mm. Call me and I, call me and you'll get the rest of your tip. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, that's great. It's that's nuts. awesome. Fucked up. And that, why is that? Fin- that guy schlap. <laughs> that was me. Yeah. I I there left that tip. I left that tip. I didn't get a call either. We we're really weird. Schlatt, do you um, ever think about how easy it would be to find you if you killed the person? You are the yes. most easily identifiable person. There's if no I, way that you could run from the authorities w- with those. I wouldn't want to. Ru- why would I run from the authorities? If well, I killed kill someone, someone, I would care. If I, I'm not saying I would kill someone, Ted, but if I did, I, I would fucking. Today seemed like it was pretty close, man. I'm not I would so flip sure. my fucking social security number down on the corpse. I'd do it. You 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 carry around. Walk your myself security to the court, like bitch. I did that. X rated. Johnny don't want to go to school no more. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you would not No. You you would just No. You'd just take the electric chair. That's that's what you'd do. Yeah, yeah, why not? Don't they have capital punishment in uh in Texas? Do they have that there? Yeah, that's why I, I moved know. there. What's the capital of Texas? <laughs> I really I, I really like the whole capital want, punishment I, I, law. Because they well, they sell <clears throat> tickets to the to the to the execution. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's how they make money. There's no state tax, but you could go to the executions. That's what you do on a Friday <laughs> night. Yeah, game. me and a couple of the guys are going to uh, going to the mass murderers. <laughs> yeah, this guy. Watch the lethal <laughs> oh, look, this guy's made going, three innings. We're going to watch the state execute a guy for a gram of marijuana. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fun. Oh no. Well, hey, listen. I want to be completely honest and upfront. I tip very well unless you make me eat. Unless burnt meat. anything happens. <laughs> you look. You so long. much as look at me funny. No, I. I left. I left. A, I left almost twenty um, percent. I left unless, almost almost twenty percent. Um, unless they ever imply that you would have to pay more. <laughs> like any sort of surcharge whatsoever. So yeah. what do you do when you go to do the, uh, if you were to go to the grocery store in like, I'm pretty sure in New York, this is the case. They, um, sniff they, your mustache. They, they charge, they charge in New York for, for, for bags at the grocery store. You tell me that when you go to the grocery store, you're just going to start oh, that's why I left. on the, you're going to start that's why I left. on the cashier. <laughs> no, no, that's why. That's one of the reasons I moved. Fuck you, Andrew Cuomo. Yeah. Fuck Andrew Cuomo. Andrew no, Cuomo what, is little, not the little one bag in, policy. Little bag policy. He's not, Fuck you. Exclusively the one charging he, you for your he, bag. Yeah. Andrew we, Cuomo listen, is, I don't big, pull he the is big bag. He's big bag. They call him he's big, big bag. bag. I didn't know that. The more you learn. Wow. Yeah. I will say I, the charging on bags, I feel like, has just led me to spill more small items across the floor. Like it, more, the it makes store. me feel I've a little bit more romantic times. about the bags. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. It's like. I go there and I'm like, oh well, if I gotta pay for the bags, that must mean these are pretty nice bags. Oh really? I just pile on my so shit I want up, like, more bags. Scooby Doo sandwich and like kind of teeter totter on. I try and get the hand sanitizer on the way out to stick out an arm before it all falls over. What's the most that you've ever teeter tottered, Charlie? Ted, Tell me you about your teeter tottering experience. What are you looking for? Are you looking for a number? <laughs> I are you don't looking know. For like what? <laughs> Listen, man. No, just. If no, I Charlie, were to ask you this question, Charlie, I'm asking you, you a really say? serious question right now. Yeah, if you I'm could not sorry, laugh at the I'm question sorry. just for a second. Okay, okay. So I'm going to repeat the question on. and I'm going to need you to give me an answer. Narrate right? what I'm doing. I'm going to try so, and sort you, this out. Are you ready for the question? Charlie, when was the when was the 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 most quality time that you ever teetered tottered? All right? Mm. Hang on. I think I'm getting something here. Are you trying to Whoa! make that moment are you trying to that, make that, that moment was... now? Are you trying to? Whoa! Charlie's he's teetering. He's Charlie I don't currently know if, is listen, doing a little bit teeter. of tottering. Watch me totter. No, I don't know if you're doing much tottering. Oh, I'm really gonna go over, but I didn't. Oh, Ooh, that goodness. was close. Yeah, right. That was close. Uh, that was, we almost had a spill that. on our hands. All right. Here I go switching legs. All right, that's enough teeter. I, I get it. You can teeter totter. Oh, Are you but scared you asked that for the most, Ted? Why stop now? He's, got, he's not going to stop. His he's not going to stop breathing too, so I can't even see him not doing half of it. Whoa, Listen, here I really go. Charlie, are oh you sometimes God. scared that you might topple? I'm horizontal. I'm <laughs> I'm like a big Jenga tower, and I'm scared the wrong block is about to get pulled. <laughs> oh, he fell. Oh, he actually fell. Oh, that was a funny bit. I like how he did that at the end. He <laughs> fell was, on he the floor. He committed to it too. Is what's he nice. He did. He did. Um, yeah. So I was like scared. That, it looked like I committed because I fucking tripped. That was some pretty <laughs> top-notch teeter-tottering, Charlie, and I'm sorry that I ever doubted you, to be honest. All right, Ted, uh, let's see you try and one-up it then. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we won't be doing that. Um, um, so it doesn't seem like you're, you're really scared of entering any sort of teeter-tottering, Charlie, but no. I mean, you know... I, I did that because I thought that, happen, that there was maybe something you were scared of because we're getting close to spooky season right now. So I'm, I'm sort of mm. curious. I mean, mm. I mean, what are you guys mm. most scared of? You know, spooky seasons around the corner. People are going around. They're doing um, there's there's green, green, green ghouls out there. Greener <laughs> than you've ever yeah. seen. Yeah, um, I mean, streets. probably, you know, <laughs> from like when you go out, you kind of see some creepy stuff, probably for me. Uh, I think the scariest thing is uh, knowing that the most realistic answer uh, is that when you die, that's it. And there's just nothing. It's not like black. And, what, you know, you, you stop existing. What the fuck is wrong and, with How dare you? Um, you'll be How forgotten. dare you bring that on Besides that, probably second, sandwich clowns. Podcast. You know, clowns. there were killer clowns on Staten Island for a time. They were killer clowns on Staten Island. Yeah, remember when they stay there? Wait, Nobody cares when about that Staten that Island. That was fucking crazy when that happened. I remember when about clowns were roaming around Staten Island it for no reason. It wasn't just Staten Island, dude. It was. It oh, was they like, expanded. Yeah. Yeah. No, there was. It was. It was an. 
the it was the first it was the epidemic before the coronavirus was the Dude, clown virus. <laughs> I only ever saw clown hunters. I never yes, saw clowns. Yes. Wait, okay, but I saw so the I did people. Not... I saw Snapchat stories of people like marching yeah. with bats, looking bro, for clowns. And I'm bro, like, what do you some mean? Of my friends, what the fuck some of, did I during miss that looking time? for clowns? What clowns? <laughs> okay, Dude, some of my friends were. I absolutely. Street? 100% the same exact fucking thing, dude. I go on Instagram or like Snapchat and see my friends were like going into forests <laughs> just with bats on the off chance that someone was like, was like LARPing as a killer clown. Okay. So for, for, here's the thing about killer ex- clowns. Well, for on every on one second, clown, Charlie. there's a hundred people trying to kill it. So okay. Just to, give an, <laughs> done. just to give an explanation for our people that don't know what we're talking about. Um, in 2016, if you don't remember, there was a, a, a clown panic where I don't know what was in the air in 2016. Like, you know, some was going on that year. Like the internet was, was, was quite edgy the politics was quite edgy and for some reason people were dressing up as clowns and going around and just hovering in the woods and people were like why is this happening i'm not convinced it ever actually did happen <laughs> i didn't know I, that i i guess i'm just not friends with i never with people saw who are ted i never saw clown. the clowns or pictures of the clowns but i saw thousands of people mobilizing to kill them i don't know what that means <laughs> Can't now that you think of, that 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 I'm thinking of it, it's so very weird. little clowns. <laughs> it's saw right. very little of <laughs> saw very few clowns. What a surprising <laughs> fact. What is that, that like, all about? We can we can mobilize our entire country against these nebulous reports of clowns showing up, but then a worldwide pandemic happens and we don't know exactly what we should Do be doing. You think there was just some guy? Like online, just fucking clown hater. Like, and he was just like, "Hey guys, let's, let's go get him. kill I these fucking don't. things, dude. <laughs> let's up the prejudice prejudice against the clowns. They don't get so, enough shit already." So what's I remember, dude. Clown? I remember seeing an article, like an unironic, fucking sad article about like this lifelong clown who did a who they did an interview with, who was like, "Yeah, man, no one's booking me anymore." <laughs> Oh no! And he went to clown school and everything. It was really sad. It was really sad. He went to clown school. He spent his, he devoted his entire life to being a clown. And in 2016, and in 2016, one... he finally was. Wow. <laughs> he was the clown. Yeah. Would you Would you guys ever try out clown school? <laughs> what a stupid fucking question. <laughs> Do I want millions of people trying to kill me and find me in the woods? <laughs> That was, that's no. been five years. It's been five years. Surely the prejudice against clowns has gone down. I'm not asking if you, you could would get... say like th- I could say clowns are coming on social media, and I would it would happen again, man. It's so fucking easy. Why would you think you we could rile up coming? the next generation of cloud ha- clown hate? <laughs> I think that we could yes, we could absolutely. probably get something going there. We could we could snuff out the clowns but now. When I, say, if we wanted... when I say if you would ever try clown school, I'm not saying like. Would you go try clown school, become a clown, and then just start roaming the streets? Well, I'm not gonna get my fucking <laughs> what clown do you think diploma clowns and do just normally, sit on Charlie? it. Charlie, but what do you think uh, they do normally? I mean, what you just described—normal clown roaming, employment. maybe <laughs> <laughs> like an NPC. What do you think their purpose is in the first place? You go to clown well, school, yeah, and they're so like, "All right, you find a nice horde." Once you, once you get the clown degree, you just. You just walk out of the building and never stop what walking. A strange, what a strange I mean, thing to be uninformed sure, maybe about. I'll is settle, maybe I'll settle down and rent a fucking sewer. Like, I have to, I have to say so that the, options. the strangest thing to be uninformed about is what a clown does. Like, that's such a random <laughs> thing. <to> be, <laughs> like, it's so... <laughs> well, oh. it's a, well, because if anyone is informed about it, I immediately pull out the bat and I say, mm-hmm. how, how do you know that? It's, we're all about Are misinformation sure? here. We've been we've been searching the woods for you. How did you <laughs> confirm that that's what they do? <laughs> oh, okay. But what do you act? Are you actually scared of clowns, though, Charlie? Because that was what your example was. To, to um, there, so I I had a period of time where I definitely was, and then I had a period of time where I said I was because I felt like it was a pretty common one to be scared of, and then I feel like I relapsed you, into you a period of time of where clowns I actually to be am. cool. Well, so th- at first I was scared of clowns because I was like, clowns are creepy. Okay. And then I also saw that a bunch of other people were scared of clowns. 
And I started kind of getting a little less scared of clowns. And I was like, I le- I leaned into it. I was like, oh, I'm really scared of clowns. But then right. I like I watched Cabin in the Woods last night, and there's like a clown in that at some point. <clears throat> clowns are fucking creepy, man. I, I don't really like it. I mean, nothing tops needles for me, but clowns needles. Are- needles. Do you not like mm. getting like you, no, you are you're no. a vaccinated boy. I don't right? like getting fucking porked, man. I I when I went to get the vaccine, every time I've ever gotten a shot, I'll do it. But the person observing me will actively be like, you look so goddamn ill right now. Like, there is no color in your face, and you are sweating beads, and Damn. you are shaking. Are you good? And I'm like, <laughs> Which are, And I'm sure that observation really alleviates the symptoms that you're experiencing. Of yeah. I'm sure I love one piece. Everything, I'm, I grab I'm sure the syringe with my shaky fucking arms, <laughs> jamming into my phone. I will stare. If there is a needle that enters my body, you can bet your ass I'm going to look dead at it the entire time, and why? I'm going to be like, "Oh, I'm conquering it for sure." Uh, why? It's because I fucking hate them, and I want, I want to not hate them, and so I stare at it because I think it will make me stronger, and I, yet I still just hate it every fucking yeah. time. Yeah, you I, could just not look at it though. I hate needles. No, but you I refuse. I have to it. look at it, dude. I have you don't to. Have to look I at have it. to. No, you don't yes, have to look I do. at it. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I've Listen. never looked at a shot when I get a fucking vaccine no, or anything. No, I just okay. look that way. It's human to be scared, but we have to face it. So I'm gonna look at my shots. You don't. You don't have to though. I'm like, gonna look you at my shots. Yes, I do. I, I forgot to mention this about clowns, but I recently had go- gone, I went to Knott's Scary Farm in California, which is, it's normally called Knott's Berry Farm. I don't know why mm. it's called. It's it's an amusement park that there's no good reason why it should be called that, but um, they have a Knott's Scary Farm, which is like the Halloween kind of aspect thing. And there's a clown section of that park that I was walking through. And you know how they have those people in those types of parks that are running around. They're trying to, they're trying to goof on people. They're trying to get, get, mm, do, yeah. do some goblin shit. Yeah. This one guy came up to me and, and he was walking up to me and he was doing like the spooky thing where he was looking at me. But then I saw, this was like the weirdest moment ever. Cause you never see, you never expect these people to like break character, but the dude like squinted his eyes and I was expecting him to say something like, <laughs> or something. But then he goes, Ted? <laughs> Where do I know you from? <laughs> and, I say, and he says, what do you do for work? And I'm like, uh, I make YouTube videos. And then the dude goes, ah! And then, he, and then he just goes back to scaring people or something. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Did he, did he like have his in-character voice when he was talking to you? Because um, I would be, I would be terrified if I there could, was a clown that waddled up to me. How do I know you? <laughs> like, I'd be fucking horrified, dude. I think he, he was, he was pretty close to his normal voice. I wasn't sure if he was trying to like do it halfway. Because I'm sure that I bet they've got like people walking around, the people watching the scares to make mm. sure that they're in character the whole yeah. time or something like that. But there is a, there is a video that that Shay collecting took, the fear gas like Monsters Inc. <laughs> Shay was taking a video while I was having, so he, uh, we have like a video of the, his reaction to the fact that while he's a scarecon, it's like him throwing his arms up and then he walks away and then he just like lunges at someone for a second, and then keeps walking. <laughs> <laughs> like he's That's like out fun. of character and now, now he's back. back to, he's in. a killer clown all Conversion. of a sudden. Conversion. That's beautiful. Um, but the reason why I was thinking of not scary farm was because we we went there recently in terms of things we're scared of. I thought that I was completely fine with roller coasters for a while. Like Charlie and I, you and I went on. In credit coaster once. We oh, had I used to be terrified of roller coasters. Yeah, I think part mm-hmm. of the reason why you and I had that conversation on that roller coaster was because I was a little bit afraid of the roller coaster too, though. That was yeah. a way to distract it. But uh, Shay convinced me to go on this roller coaster called the Accelerator at oh. Not Scary Farm, which is quite um, indicative of the speed. It yeah. goes to it's it's basically it's a minute long ride, and you sit there and it accelerates really really fast like the Incredicoaster at Disneyland and it goes up like fucking like four stories or some bullshit and then it goes down it goes around again and then you're done and that's all it does but the thing is the ride it accelerates to 82 miles per hour in 2.3 seconds which is faster than any car on the road yeah any yeah, car so we're waiting in line and, and Shay and her brother they really really want to go on this um, so I'm sitting in line. I'm like, I don't know. I feel like they had to convince me to get in line. Cause I was like, I don't know if I want to deal with that. It's, it's less of like I was scared. It was more like, yeah, my what thought is it? process was like, I don't know if I want to deal with that shit. So what is um, that? Like, what does that mean? What is it specifically that you're like, I don't want to deal with. Like, I don't want to deal with like the nervousness of, of that. <laughs> I couldn't build go that fast to, on my own. I don't... That build up to the launch. I know once the launch is over, <laughs> I'm, pr- I'm probably not going to die, but like, you know, but 
I, they managed. Why to get would me you die the, during the launch? I don't know. I don't know because well, while we were waiting in the line, the hand of God comes her, in and just unedits the bottom half of the roller coaster. <laughs> while we were waiting in line, her brother said that oh yeah, one time uh somebody uh, got their like foot broken by this ride because when the oh. thing was launching, it uses these the system of pulleys like really really strong pulleys system or something like that to actually l- get it to its original speed. Um, and one time one of those snapped and it flew forward and went like through the front of the ride and hit like a kid oh my God. in his leg. Oh, that's so fun. I already have that information going into it and yeah. I'm like g- getting well, ready to go on foot. the ride. And the thing is about the ride too is that it's completely open air. There's no like sort of, hi- you know, how sometimes on rides you go and it hides you for a little bit. And you can't really see how the entire ride goes. <sighs> like in this one, it's like totally, it's just the, the framework of the ride where you see the people launch incredibly fast. They go up real high in the air and they come down and you're like, man, that would that seems like it's gonna suck, but I get all the way to the point of being about to get on the ride, and yeah. for the first time in like, God, it has to be like twelve years or something. I like felt genuinely like afraid, like a like a I felt like a Damn. little kid again for a second, where I was like, Oh fuck, I really don't want to do this, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'll get almost getting to the point. It was, it was such a strange thing because I hadn't felt like that in so long, where I was getting to the point of almost being like upset which was so weird. Um, but then I ended up like going on it. Cause I was like, I can't disappoint at this point. I just got to do it. Um, yeah. And as, it'd, it'd, it'd be, it'd, it'd be almost as embarrassing, like almost oh as God. scary for me to be like, no. And then just, just walk past all the other people waiting in line. Cause like, yeah, you're that too was, much that was part of it. Be as embarrassing I, Cause as I was seeing like these the little bulk-o-key. kids get on the ride too. And they were like, they were like, I'm so excited, and they're like, "Cause they're, I don't know." I was, I would. Hey, def- is that Ted Nivison pushing out on <laughs> yeah, the accelerator? That, that's my YouTuber, and uh, <laughs> um, hey, man, I subscribe to you. That's really disappointing. <laughs> yeah. So when you're and when you're sitting on the on the ride, it has like a stoplight system. So it starts with like two mm. orange lights, and then like three lights, and then it's like a green light. And you hear yeah. like a person on like the intercom go like something along the lines of like uh, "Control, you ready." And it's like real, it seems like a intense, much more serious situation intense, than a normal yeah. roller coaster because they're launching you. So the whole time that that that's once those lights start going, the whole time I'm just sitting there, I'm not listening to anyone. I'm just saying, and there's kids around too. I'm saying, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And then the ride launches and then it's, and then we're gone. And then it, it ended up being fine. But I think back to how I just was just yelling, fuck you out loud. Mm. Would you do it that, again? And what was the worst part? Those are my two questions. The worst part was the build up to getting on the ride and then the the moments right before the ride and then after that like I don't get sick on rides. I think it was I just have a very strong imagination of what could be. I think mm. is so mm. I, I it's that was the main issue I think I was running into. Would I do the ride again? I think that the fear of going on that ride has probably been reduced by half. So I think every time I would go on the ride, that initial fear <laughs> would further, probably be it's going to keep down. cutting it in half. But I have, like, an idea for, like, a video that I won't say that I would want to do that involves roller coasters. So I feel like I need to, like, go on that. Mm -hmm. But there's other rides that that we went on that are, like, fucking corkscrews spinning going upside down. It's called the Silver Bullet. Is that your I Sabotaged Roller Coasters one that you're talking about? What's up? The I I Sabotaged Roller Coasters video? Uh, How dare you reveal my plan, (laughs) Jelly Slimesicle. (laughs) Sorry, yeah, Um, yeah, yeah. No, I just, there are some weak supports, and I just, you know, we had talked about which ones we wanted to target. Yeah, it's more like a social experiment. Like, what would you do if your ride broke down in the middle of a roller coaster while you're strapped into this metal machine built exclusively (laughs) for joy? Um, So, Schlatt, what are you scared of? Oh, dude, we should definitely show up to a theme park and just say uh oh over the intercom before some kid launches. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> bad. I've seen videos of people like bungee jumping, and right when oh. they jump, people are like, oh, no, no. And then they throw a second rope behind them. Oh, so the God. dude, as he's falling oh, down, he oh. sees another rope, and everyone's like, no. I could I not. Just, that I would give me a panic attack. I close my eyes and cross my fucking arms, man. Yeah. And just sink into the sea like Dracula. That's like, like at no some way. point, it's a little too fucked that's up. That's way too that's far. That's really messed up. I've seen those before, and, and, and they they bother me. Yeah, they I would not be friends me. with someone that did that. So that's, is that what you'd be afraid of, Schlatt? No. What are you afraid of, Schlatt? I am don't make, afraid. Don't make stupid shit. What? What do you mean stupid shit? I'm not saying anything stupid. Sure, you're not gonna say like 
There's too much bulgogi left. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid of surcharges. You know? <laughs> I'm I'm terrified of the day. You know how there's like a day, like, you know, you know, you play you play Minecraft for the last day, you know? Oh. Yeah. And you don't know you don't know when you're logging off that that's the last day or like you don't know the last time you say goodbye to a friend over Xbox Live that that's oh. the last time you're ever going to see him. So not like a vampire. No, not like a vampire. <laughs> that dog, that, no bones, no bones day dog. He'll get up for the last time, and no one will know that's the last time. But soon it'll just be like it'll is this be, dog ever. Someday it won't be binary anymore. It'll just be oh. no bones. So you're mm -hmm. worried that that <clears throat> the time you see someone is going to be the last time you see them. I'm more worried. Well. Yes, but also I'm. I have a huge ego, so I'm going to make it. How can I make it about me? Right. right. As as you that do. my that my name or anything that I've worked on or my effect on the world will be referenced for the last time at some mm. point, and then for eternity onwards, no one ever utters you or thinks about you or consumes anything you've ever made, yeah. and that's it. Then you're then you're done. Then you've disappeared. Wow! Put that in wind. your pipe and smoke it, Ted. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. All your loved ones, all your lineage that you helped to create, never even fucking think about you. Can you so, imagine? So let's figure out how you could go about doing this and make sure that we can make this happen for you, Schlatt. So don't have any kids. <laughs> <laughs> don't have any kids. That's mm -hmm. the first way you could no you could, kids, you could, right? We could snuff that little that little legacy of yours. I was thinking Move, about saying something against your mutton chops anyone. again, but I feel like I'm going too hard against your mutton chops this episode for some reason. <laughs> um, and then another way, I suppose, would be to um, uh, I mean, just rip the bandaid YouTube, off. YouTube, uh, hmm. stop the podcast, kill all that. S s one of us. Well, no, because then no, then they keep talking. talking about people about talk it. about that. People so you're, talk you're, about you that. You mean any legacy? You don't mean a positive legacy. Oh no, any legacy at all. So you're, your you're name will be me mentioned for the last deathbed, time. You'll be thought you about. You know what? For the actually, I just thought of now. If Schlatt killed me or you, would it be Schlatt is a murderer or would it be Slimesicle found murdered? <laughs> 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 this is really important <laughs> because um. it determines how this goes. <laughs> I'm just um, wondering. I think it would be sort of more like a, a an overall group drama kind of thing oh, wow. like charlie's We'd be murdered the first... Schlatt's in jail i'm the one who's on the tv interviews we do oh, the so first podcast i'm the Dude, one on the I tv the first podcast. Podcast. you'll write a book, book about it <laughs> <laughs> a new book we'd be the, the first podcast ever where the, the new, members killed each other my new book the last chuckle <laughs> <laughs> where i talk and about I, hey at some point in time the last chuckle will be had it oh, will? oh, come on. Listen, oh. there will be there will be the last episode of the Chuckle Sandwich, and we, we might not even know when as we're making it. We might not know that this is the last episode. Maybe it's this one. No, don't say that. People are going to be like, wait, what? <laughs> Someday the last clown will graduate. Mm. From Dude, that's true. also true. That's yep. also true. That's yeah. definitely a fact. Someday the Earth yes. will yeah. be consumed... Okay. By a red giant sun. True. And Maybe. every trace of all of the history that ever existed upon this planet, including any legacy that we could ever procure. Nah, bro. Will nah, be bro. I don't believe that. I don't believe trying, that. I think we're go gonna, I'm gonna no, I'm gonna go invent space something. Flat? Oh yeah, baby. I'm pumping. No, I'm, I'm just putting saying. slime in a cannon and I'm shooting it out to God. And You're I'm not saying that's me. Slime. Listen. Hey, listen, all I'm saying is, in the time it, it'll take for that shit to happen, we'll definitely have figured out a way to get Earth moving outside of this fucking sphere. We're going to move Earth? Well, I hope yeah, we do. Yeah, we're, we're going to move Earth. Of course we're going to move Earth. This is wait, billions wait. of years in the future we're talking about. Humans are only going to think for like 10,000 years, right? You don't mean move people, you mean move Earth. Yes, I'm telling you, we're going <laughs> to... The <laughs> big thruster. So you don't think you don't think about like spaceships or some grand. No, no, I think I, there arc. will definitely be spaceships. We'll definitely be on other planets in other in other galaxies. But what I'm saying is, there ain't no way that we're just leaving Earth to die. There's probably gonna be some kind of rocket put. We're gonna make it move. All I'm that's all I'm saying. I mean, we're people, definitely there will gonna be, leave Earth to die. There, no, no, no. There will absolutely be an effort 
to to maneuver the birthplace like of humanity three out, of the, out of the state. out of the way of the burning up sun i'm i guarantee oh it. you're Why? talking of like yeah in like well, in like a billion years they'll be like oh my god that's a, <laughs> too, that's our monument we gotta so, move it oh, that's so where we came that's where we all came from that will a uh, hundred without a doubt even so if it's a think, even if it's a dead rock at this point you know that's fucking crazy right so no, you think no. that some sort of rich they, on charlie they thought iphone was crazy <laughs> okay so you're talking no 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 you <laughs> yeah, yeah, can we, can literally we, yeah. pushing the fucking <laughs> earth yes yeah, let's break this down yes Schlatt currently equates not even moving because an it's entire necessary. planet away from the wrath of the sun <laughs> Yes, absolutely. <laughs> to Steve this will one hundred percent happen. Thinking of a f of a device that you can play Flappy Bird on. Yes, yes. Don't say yes so sincerely, like like you really mean it. I, Ted, I ge I genuinely believe that we will humanity will not let the Earth be enveloped well, by I, the sun. I mean, surely, I mean, surely that'll be what? at a point that we're, that we're we've got some sort of fucking Dyson sphere around the sun and we're taking all this yeah. energy and shit. You're talking like. You have no uh, idea talking, what's down the road. Know, We're going to invent some <laughs> shit. I'm going to invent some shit. You're talking like I'll invent Isaac some shit that does it. <laughs> you're talking like Isaac Asimov, like level science fiction is. shit. This oh, is that's like, a, yeah, this you. is pretty out there. Dude. I also feel like if we're that far down the line, why Charlie, the do you fuck know who that we is? care about Isaac no, Asimov? I got no idea. What the fuck? What's going but on I, here? I infer Why the fuck would we care about Earth, the birthplace of humanity? You're dumb if you think anything. It's uh, not going to you, be that you're anymore, so though. Stupid. It's not going to be you're that so anymore. You're so stupid. That's where we came from. <laughs> That's literally where we came from. Yes, but it's also going to be like the here. whole... We, we're going to have fucked the whole thing up. It's just going to be a big chunk, and we're not going to want to build a... I think we're roster. still going to do it. I mean, surely, surely no one's gonna after care. we fuck it up, we're going to Because the people that are going to be alive it. aren't going to fucking care, man. They are going to no, care. No, they will. There'll be no, so they many will. generations down the line. They will. Like, they're going to okay, have iPhone sure, 2 back. They're going to have iPhone 2 then, you know? I'm telling you, they're going to... We're going to move Earth. You keep saying I'm you're going to invent something. This is something absolutely too. goddamn insane. This is like saying when it's we. It's not insane. I, you know what? We got to go. Let's make Pangea again because that's where we came from. It's we not insane. We got to push everything together. We got to put it all insane. together. It's not insane. If Earth is still around, like, we're, we're going to move it. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to take Mars is... with us too? Maybe. Probably because okay. it'll still, it will still be doing shit. What about the moon? Are we I'm leaving done for the moon? Today. Are we leaving the moon there? Dude, you're making you're I'm you're done. acting like this is so no. far fetched. You oh, don't even oh. know what's gonna be going on billions of years down the Schlatt, road, and you don't think even... the birthplace of humanity. You you think you think all humans are gonna be like, no, I don't give a fuck about this. Let's let the sun swallow it up. Bro, the place where we all started, that we all Why came from. You don't even think so some. You don't even think some fucking billionaire. Say, oh, no, you don't think some fucking globe. billionaire is gonna be like, oh, I want the earth for myself, and he's gonna put a fucking rocket on it, bro. You're gonna put a fucking rocket on it. Something's gonna Happen. Mean? The, the earth will not be eaten by the sun. I guarantee you, it'll be gone. Where will it go, Slat? <laughs> Where the... will it go? I'm telling you, this listen, people thought the iPod was stupid. People think this idea is stupid. Everyone people thought everyone come to the USA and everyone jump at once. Let's get this, <laughs> let's get this listen, fucking you're, party listen, going. You're, you're straw Let's manning get this globe me. Moving. Yeah. You're straw manning me. You're gish galloping me. You're Hassana beinging me. Okay. You and I don't Schlatt, like it. But Schlatt, the you iPhone have a analogy point. is you not have a straw one man. Argument. And it's a <laughs> you have one argument, and it's it's going to move. <laughs> that's not, that's We're going to figure it out. <laughs> Absol no, what's wrong with my iPhone argument? <laughs> I just don't really know how the people invention that of was, the iPhone relates to moving a planet. That's all I'm. People that's thought all the I'm iPhone. Thinking. All right, all right. I'm done. I'm leaving the podcast. <laughs> I'm also oh, you're, you're done fed up podcast. with us. I'm you're fed up with us. I'm out. I can't you guys do don't this believe anymore. in me. Oh. This podcast you guys don't is believe in me ridiculous. and my ideas. I'm going to clown school. I'm going to clown school, you and should. I'm just going to start rolling around. This is coming from the Bulgogi man who ate like a pound of meat just to pay the same amount of money. I, I'm All sorry. Right. I'm signing off for today. I can't do it with this guy anymore. It's too oh, much. Oh Jesus! Oh, he's leaving too. All right. What the um, fuck? Well, hey guys, thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Chuckle Sandwich Podcast. Let us know what you think. Um, they're both gone. They both left their chairs. So I'm good. I. I have a good one, guys. <laughs>